Legacy TV Dublin presents Conversation with Susanna on Afro Carib Lifestyles and Achievers. Hello, everyone. You're welcome back again onto Conversation with Susanna on the Legacy TV Dublin. Um, we like you to go onto our YouTube channel and watch this uh, conversation, watch this program. Um, we want you to go onto our Facebook page and like us. Go on Twitter, go on Instagram, and just join our social media uh, network. Make sure you watch this on YouTube. Make your comments. We like to see your comments. What you think? What you? What's your view regarding all our programs? So we welcome those things. So thank you to the uh, thank you for watching. Now before we go ahead, I'd like to introduce you all uh, to my guest today. Is a friend of mine. Uh, not only is he a friend, is a part of my organization. That is the Afro in Diaspora Center. He's one of our in-house photography. He loves photography. And he's a superman, I would say. Um, he's, he loves volunteering. He gives a lot of time into volunteering. And at the same time, he has a very good love for pictures. Now, can everyone welcome John? Hello, John. How are you? Good afternoon. Thanks so much for the it's, invitation. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's really, really good to chat with you. You know, it's Thank always good to be in your company. Now, thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Thanks now, for the Yeah, uh, on Legacy TV, one of the things that we do is that we celebrate people that uh, support the African community. And that's one of the reasons you are here today. Uh, you've been a very good support, uh, su a supporter of our community as a whole. And, and I, I know you've been involved in different type of works. Uh, so tell us about yourself. Well, um, I say I am um, a retired civil servant, 68, married three kids. I said I've got three kids now, they're over <laughs> 20, 20 to 30. And um, I have always had a camera since I was young. But um, I just usually took the holiday snaps and that was about eight and they all pretty miserable pictures of poor quality and yellow faces and you usually see getting photos. So after I retired from work, I, of course you asked me if I was going to do with my time and I decided to take more, more of an interest in photography. And I did one or two beginners courses and I got a DSLR camera in 2013. Yeah. And from there, I suppose it kind of all more or less um, took off. I spent a lot of time taking photos, practicing and trying to learn and understand what photographs were about, I guess, stops, <laughs> um, uh, ISOs, shutter speed, apertures, all them sort of things. Different level of things. They, they were nothing to me in the beginning. <laughs> and of course, if you have your ordinary phone, as everybody has now, yeah. you just point the camera and it does all these things for you. <laughs> but I have to stand there now and trying to work out how to fit and do them. <laughs> and uh, that's what basically what it is. And that is it. Are so you? initially then, um, I started taking photos and my parish dad got interested, because uh, I'm in Cabin Yeah. And they asked me um, to take photos for the parish. So I've been yeah. taking photos for the parish magazine now for a number of years. It comes out every quarter, and I provide them nearly most of the photos, predictive communions, confirmations, um, God outings, any of those type of parish yeah. events. I have also. Um, now, I'm um, sorry, uh, John, I know you, you've been involved in taking a lot of pictures yeah. within your own community. Yeah. You've done a lot of uh, uh, work within your church, your parish. Yeah and you, you you fall in love with photography yeah. and you're also a member of the photography uh what do they call them the photography is it a group or an association uh, no it's not it's um it's a qualification it's a, it's a form of qualification for the Irish photographic federation okay uh, AC, uh, uh, so is it a so school yeah yeah no it's actually it's uh, it's uh, actually it's not a school it's a uh, it's a grading system okay okay it's a bit like uh, it's a grading and it says that you need to achieve a certain standard yeah oh in, in photography yeah and I got it last year, I got it to base level, but it was called a, 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 a licentious, you call it. Now tell us a little bit about your involvement in different, yeah. what are you involved with my organisation, which is yeah. the Afro in the Asper Centre? Well last year, I think, it, uh, the, uh, up to last year, I had no real involved with the uh, African community. And uh, back in January of last year, 2017, uh, Maggie Maria Giselle uh, contacted me and said she'd like to do some photographs. Yeah. Uh, she was going back in and she was applying for the face of Miss Africa. Yeah. In the Afro fashion. And fashion she, show, yeah. Yes, and she actually became the face of Miss Africa. Yeah. And then that sort of led. And your the, picture was the, one of the ones in the magazine. Yeah. The yeah, Ameri yeah. American magazine, yeah. And uh, that sort of, I think, led from one to the next, and yeah. one leads to the next. 
And I think between uh, October and Christmas of last year, covered something like 20 African events. <laughs> I did the uh, African fashion show. Sure. Uh, I did your uh, fashion. Uh, did the, the conference, uh, the African uh, History Month. Yeah. Yeah. You did Hugo Unions as well. You were part I of did, it. Um, um, we can do. We can do. We can do. We group. Yeah. And um, I can't remember all of that, but I mean. You were involved with the We Can Do as well. Yeah, I did. And then you watched yeah. Food Festival Day as well. We did the Food Festival Day, yeah. yes. And uh, this year I've done about 40 events in total. Wow! About, about uh, between 40 shoots and different events. Um, but about, I've done about 40 20, events? Yeah. I've done about 20 African events. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Wow! So you really, really, really. Uh, I, I'm so delighted, you know, because I know that you, you've passed through us and with, with working with me anyway, with the organization, you've worked with a lot of organizations through yeah. my, myself as well. Um, and I'm getting a bit jealous now when I see all of them mapping <laughs> up with you. So I'm not too jealous. We did Nigeria Independence Day last week. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah, which you were there. It was fantastic. You were looking absolutely radiant in that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, so that was good. That was but really the interesting good. thing that I always find me now. Yeah, it was about I, the food. When I do f events, say for example, uh, uh, Irish events, uh, you go around and say, take your picture. People are not too pushed about it. <laughs> but uh, the biggest shock I got when I, to, when I did the first event for a, an African event, yeah. and I went in and people queued up to get the picture taken. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen before. And then, that that and was our event. The and then the following day, I get a message, where's my picture? I can't find it. I see all the pictures on Facebook. Yeah. I can't find my one. Oh, and then people are calling you to say, oh, Chum, I can't see my picture. Where is my picture? Yes. One lady uh, took her picture and she had a, a donut or a bun on her hand and I lifted it out. <laughs> Where's my picture? <laughs> she wanted no donuts. <laughs> are you wondering? So. But I mean, I found that a, a cultural change. Yeah. When I do events, for, for example, in our own parish, you kind of yeah. say, people will look like you stay. Nobody can look and take my picture. picture. <laughs> and at the Nigeria Independence Day last week, um, there was a wonderful atmosphere, like, I mean, uh, they had a the cake, they all in groups, and then in twos and threes, <laughs> and then, I want my picture on my own. <laughs> Everybody wants yeah, to get yeah, one. Yeah, That's so interesting. It's, so it's, it's, a, it's a cultural shock, but at the same time, it's always good to see yeah, those yeah. different cultures that we all have. Yeah. And it, it, it's cool to have other people celebrating our own culture, yeah. and we celebrate other people's culture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you've been doing fantastic anyway. Thank you. Uh, it's good to have you here. Yeah. And I, I have to say now officially to say a very big thank you for supporting my organization. You've been fantastic. It's over two years now, going to two years. Yes, yes. Yeah, that you've been very, very supportive of all our programs and, you know, attending. You keep to time, you know, when we, you can't afford you when it comes to time. Um, <laughs> and I know you can have me anyway if you have to. Well, but it's good to have you. As I said, that I found out last year, there's three times in, the, in Ireland, there's the clock time. There's Irish time and there's African time. <laughs> <laughs> and like my producer would like to say, uh, you'll be the first person in any way that we're really giving this uh, platform to. Um, but, but, and the more reason is because, like we said, we celebrate people that celebrate us. And if you celebrate us, you celebrate our community, yeah. you celebrate what we do, we celebrate you as well. So today we celebrate you and we say a big thank you for being part of our, uh, our community and for being on Legacy TV as well. So um, it's good to have you thank and you um, we get to talk more. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for coming. For those that are watching, this is John. He's a photographer and um, if you think, if you're looking for somebody to take your picture for your birthday, weddings, or whatever you want to do. Um, he's your man, and uh, not only does he do this uh, as uh, do does it as something that he does for passion, uh, but at the same time, he does it with elegance. Uh, and if you need that type of elegance in your event, uh, he's your man to watch it for. So peace from Susanna. Thank you, guys. Thank you, John. Thank uh, you. Excuse me, how are you? Legacy TV Dublin, showcasing the beauty of African culture.